All right. Okay. I guess I'll grab my main <laughs> my main, main axe and yeah. if, if Johnny's going to come out and interrupt though, I don't know if he's. <laughs> yeah, right. I uh, obviously when I joined the band, uh, my position was going to be covering you know of course the classic classic songs, uh, right. you know which I still to this you know d to this day, Ed King and Steve Gaines. Oh God, man. Which uh, I'm very fortunate because I'm big fans of their playing. So yeah, yeah. it was really a great thing to be able to walk in and, and uh, have to cover such great parts. Right. And of course, continue. I like to th uh, think of it, you know, we, we cut our last two studio records. And yeah. I was fortunate I, was a, I co wrote the uh, title cut to that. And, yeah, but I wanted to carry. That's the, huge, well, man. I feel that way. I feel honored, like I said, to be, to be working with the band after 12 years, which yeah. is, seems like yesterday. That's... but. So Amazing. yeah, carry the uh, you know the Strat and that the single coil sound sure. you know. So this is my main Max. Uh, I got this, this is a, 19, a 91 a Strat oh. standard everything. I'm all about you know just your standard guitars. I'm all about you know a lot of guys get a guitar and they put lace sensors in or change. I, yeah. I buy a guitar to sound like what it sounds like. Right. And uh, the only thing that's different about this Strat um, is that back in the uh, early 90s they had the tone control that actually is uh, you know uh, you had it's not not at 10 is not where uh, it's dry. Sure. In other words, the, you're, it's, it's like a midpoint. Right, you yeah. got a midpoint five, and I love that. Yeah. Because I can, that way I can just, you know, brighten it up or, you know, t take it off uh, the uh, high end, but you don't lose, I don't know, you don't lose or gain. You, right. And that yeah, works yeah. for me. But yeah, it's 91. I got this at Charlie's Guitar Shop in Dallas, Texas. Right. And you're not, a Texas guy. I'm a Texas yeah. guy. In fact, That's I right. I first met you like 25 years ago. I think you were playing, with, was it Sons of the Desert? Or? That's right, in Texas. Yeah, yeah in I was Texas. with an act on Sony and we went out to see you guys That's at a right. club. And I thought, God, that guitar player is unbelievable. Oh, well, so, well, thank you for that. 25 years ago, man. And that was the, you, this was that was this guitar. So you're, you're, you're looking at it. It's still all beat up and everything, but I, I this Hi is my miles. main axe. All right, okay, so, perfect. Anyway, I don't, and I don't, and I just like uh, Gary and Ricky were saying, I don't do a whole lot of stuff. It's just a guitar and an amp. I have a company I've been working with uh, called Neville. Yeah. And uh, they actually made it directly oh, yeah. uh, with all the specs of that, sure. including the put in the five, you know, the the, the five stop there. Yeah. So, yeah. but I use this guitar on a few songs. Yeah, well, this guy's there somewhere in the north. Uh, With, uh, yeah, up in Michigan. Michigan, okay. That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah, Jeff uh, Robert. Uh, I mean, uh, oh gosh, now I'm going to put me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't think of his name, but Neville yeah, Guitars is the brand. Yeah, Neville Guitars. <laughs> make great guitars. Okay. Sorry, man. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> yeah. hey, believe me. You're not going to be mad. You're okay. putting yourself on. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, like I said, everything's pretty straight ahead. I use this. PRS, and I do know Paul uh, Reed Smith's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a great guitar. I use this for Freebird. Oh, yeah. uh, me and uh, Ricky do the big ending, you know. And that's so the Ash, uh... e exactly. And I got right. the five way in it and with the humbucker and the, you know. And interesting, like Ricky was saying, Gary, you know, uh, the only guitar that made it after the flood was that Strat. Wow. So uh, yeah, I had another one, and of course it didn't make it. Yeah. And I had another Neville, it didn't make it. All they, the only thing that made it was a Strat, and thank God I had it because I had a session, so I had to have it. Right. So I looked out. Well, yeah, right. If you're gonna save one guitar, guitar right? I saved yeah. the right one. But anyway, but yeah, so I've been using this ever since the flood. I got you, this after God, Paul. Look recently. at that neck. So yeah. Wow, it's, that maple on that. Amazing. Yeah, I like the maple because obviously you know I use maple with the Strat, so yeah, you know it gives thing. you the the bright tone when you're you know yeah. playing. But yeah. That's yeah. that's basically my guitars that I use on the road. In Perfect. a nutshell. Yeah, that that gets it done. Now, um, amp wise, what are you running? Okay, uh, I'm using two Blues Devilles, the oh, Hot Rods. Sure. Uh, one's a 410 and one's a 212. Yeah. Uh, I use the Hot Rods because um, I actually prefer the, the the old Blues Devilles, which, by the way, Fender doesn't make anymore, <laughs> which I wish so... they would bring back. But uh, <laughs> the Hot Rods have a little more wattage yeah. and and. Uh, we're, we're a loud band, yeah, guys, <laughs> so yeah, I'll tell you. You guys 